Okay, guys, I've come to you around the bank area because the lighting today is really, really sick. I've got the 85mm 1.4 Samyang with the Sony A7 III on me. Um, and that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, and I'm only out to get to get some of that lighting. There is a bit of fog around towards the east. Maybe it'll push in this way, but I'm definitely going to head that way in a bit and see if I can get some foggy, foggy shots. Um, oh. So I'm going to be dipping and diving down different streets, just trying to find some some cool shots. That was a cool shot. I was too busy talking to you guys. <laughs> I'm going to use this as a frame actually, because that's quite nice. Maybe a nice way to start the video. So what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to be saying my settings on the screen. So I'm not going to be putting them on the screen. I'm just going to be saying what I'm doing and why I'm using those settings in the video. Um, I think that'll be more beneficial for you guys. So I've got it now. I'm going to have to put it up to about 500, 400 of a second, 1.4, oh, ISO 320. And the reason I put it to a higher shutter speed is because if a cyclist or someone goes past, then I'm going to be able to capture. So I'm just going to stand here and wait until somebody goes past. Okay, there was a cyclist. Did I get the cyclist? Hopefully I did. I think that is as good as it's gonna get. Focused on the wall behind him, but I don't care because it's about the image itself and it looks pretty cool. I like it. Moving on to the next one. Oh, the lighting is so lovely. It's so harsh, but I really like it, especially because it's got that like cold haze. Okay, so what I've done is I've come back onto this wall here. Um, I was on that barrier there. I've come back onto this wall here because I can actually get people more in the foreground than I was there you get a more compression so I'm going to try and get I don't know what I'm going to try and get I'm just going to try and get as much as I can from this position <laughs> that that right there is pretty pretty sick i'm gonna take one actually in landscape as well okay i'm gonna get one more of the cyclist if i can even see oh fucking hell wow i mean the photo's on the screen and it speaks for itself so Bosh. Actually, while I'm up here, there's actually this really nice lighting down here. So where people are walking in, they've got like the shadows. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but like they walk like literally that runner there and they're casting this nice long shadow. So I'm going to try and get that as well while I'm up here. So literally I'm stood on London Bridge, Tower Bridge that way, buses, beautiful lighting, um, embankment walk. Yeah. It's pretty sick, to be fair. Um, where should I head? I'm actually walk down embankment. I mean, there is fog in the distance over there, but it's not coming this way. So yeah, let's get on embankment. Now, that's where I'm going. Um, but you can see 22 Bishop's Gate literally kind of framed by these two parts here. So I'm gonna, these two walls, sorry. Nice. Okay, there's some steam coming off the building next to the shard, which I'm gonna try and get, because it looks quite, cool um, I don't think it requires much editing because it speaks for itself in a way but it's very directly in the sun so I think that's as harsh of a lighting as you can get but it looks cool I couldn't even see what I was shooting then bridge going across towards the Tate over there I don't know if you guys can see it over the wall but yeah, going that way um, and getting people on the bridge is quite quite a cool shot so let's see if I can get somebody between these two buildings as they're walking across. Also gives you like a size perspective as well, like with how big and tall the buildings are compared to the people. It's quite nice when you see somebody walking their bike across it as well, because um, obviously the bike takes some more real estate in the photo, so you can kind of see it better. You like people walking through this frame here. You've got the Tate in the background. Let's have a look. Um, the shutter is on continuous, so it's on high plus continuous. Um, focusing area is wide. Um, sometimes I use wide, sometimes I use center. Um, 
and then if I'm say if I'm running you know I'm running about whatever taking these photos and I need somewhere to be focused on the Sony a7 III you can just tap on the screen and it will focus and shoot we've uh, shoot we've you tapped obviously it's not as accurate as manual but it's close enough and it does the, does the job it's to be walking down the steps go past which might look good on the other side that's one of my favorite shots from today so far i think throwing food to the seagulls see if i can get that come over onto this side okay i'm just trying to get some get a shot of the seagulls here and with the london eye in the background i just wanted to get the seagull um kind of flying in focus with the compression of like london eye in the background which turned out pretty cool let's get some more shadow shots and we're trying to frame it between the shadow and the tree moving on to the next place which is further down the embankment i want to get some people in front of like because you've got london eye um parliament building big ben buses going across so if i can get someone in focus as they're walking across here or a cyclist or something i think it'll look pretty cool yeah, there's a dude running past, so I'm going to see if I can get him. I pulled up to my eye. You can't see what I'm doing. It's just so I can track him properly. Which you can see on the screen now, which works really nicely. Came out today with the intention of uh, shooting fog, um, but it, it dissipated quite quickly and moved away from central, so it didn't look that good. So um, I'm kind of just walking along in Bankman and just seeing what I can get, really. Um, and I think sometimes that's all you should do. I think you should just go out and shoot whatever. Okay, there's another runner on the other side of the street, so we can frame him nicely. Cool, that looks good. I keep pulling it up to my eye to take the shot, just purely because the sun is so bright on the screen, I can't, I can't see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty bright out today, which is quite nice for once. Now, even though I'm shooting at 2,000th of a second, um, f2.5 ISO 50 when I'm shooting into the harsh light, um, I track the subject, not for a panning shot, but to make sure that the autofocus tracks the subject as they go through the frame. I hope that makes sense. That's, I mean, that's my logic. Um, and I have it on continuous high plus mode when I'm shooting purely because I want to, if I ever want to, I can stitch those photos together and make kind of like that boomerang effect on Instagram. Um, and I think it's always good to have that extra creative material if you need it. That's my, you know, my rationing. And you could put it together as a sequence if you wanted to, like if you wanted to Photoshop them all together, you could quite easily make it into one sequence where, you know, it's going through the frame. I mean, I can do that in a video if you want. So I'm just gonna get some cool shots for this lighting here. Um, and I wanna get a cyclist kind of going past it. Cool, I'm happy with that photo. It looks really good. Um, I'm not facing this way. It would be nice if someone walked across the street, kind of like right there. Push forward a bit. It's a nice, like, empty street shot. Finish soonish because I've got a time. Is it? I've got to get to my shoot by half one, so I've got 45 minutes. <laughs> it's quite a cool shot. Cool. Okay, that shot was pretty awesome. The one with the she had like a sign saying "Cycle for Health." Don't know what it's for. I guess she's just trying to get people to go out and cycle more, maybe. Um, this is a nice street that's over here. Um, but I prefer a night, that street. I've got a shoot to get to in about 45 minutes. Um, got client work I need to do today. So I'm just gonna finish up. I mean, I did originally only come in for the fog, which never really happened. And now we've had this POV. So I mean, if you've lasted this long, you might as well hit the subscribe button hitting the notification bell and hopefully when things go back to normality I can 
I've got some big ideas of, of shoots that I want to do with uh, a bunch of other creatives, but I'm waiting for obviously the restrictions to to subside. So actually, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go get the tube now. Anyway, I was going to get a couple more, but with all that being said, I think create more, stress less, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm thinking I might do like an, an hour long or a, like a stupidly long POV and just relaxing, just me walking around doing a POV. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Um, I'm gonna go and walk towards the tube to get my uh, tube to my shoot. So with all that being said, create more, stress less, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.